this piece was originally for a uh, competition. So we're all part of, uh, part of um, Extreme, Auburn Dance Academy competition team. So we compete locally around Seattle. Um, we do like four competitions um, in Seattle a year and then we do one nationals. So this year we went to Vegas nationals at Spotlight Dance Cup. And I forgot what we placed, but we placed top 10. That's what the piece was originally for. My parents on the studio, um, Jennifer and Peter Carrington. <laughs> <laughs> All my siblings dance, older brother Chris, and then there's me, and then I have a younger sister, um, Kaylee, who also dances in the groups that we're in for competition. And then I have a young brother, Levi, who dances in the hip hop groups that we're in, and then a younger brother, Carson. We take class every day, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes Sunday if we have rehearsal. To me, it was about my father. Well, because it's called his daughter. Um, we all kind of have our own little stories. And the flower represents our dad. And sometimes, you know, your parents can let you down or you can get mad at your dad or whatever, but you're always going to love him. <clears throat> Mine's about, like, because my parents are divorced and they usually are always, like, mad at each other or fighting. Because I guess my parents have both made, like, bad decisions in their life about different things. It's like I can forgive them because they make me really mad about some things that they do because I think it's the best for me, but it's not. And I don't know, forgiving them and finding a way to like, like understand where they're coming from. Okay, so my story is I've actually never met my biological dad. And I guess that I kind of bring my anger out on him because like he didn't necessarily treat my mom like the right way. So I guess this is me trying like basically saying, I wish I knew you because I do deeply down love him because he is my biological dad and the flowers representing him. Um, it's kind of just my dad when he is like a really nice, kind of just open about everything. And so when he does get mad, it's like really scary and I like freak out and start like sobbing and it makes me think of that. My dad doesn't get mad very often, but I want to like impress him, I guess, because he's like thinks highly of me. So in my life, my dad, he had heart failure a couple of years ago. And so when it kind of became like a family, I guess, crisis, it was like you like really wanted to love him, but he didn't know how to love you back when he's trying to worry about himself to keep himself healthy, I guess. say that there were actually like a lot of differences because for one the floor was different like we mm -hmm. usually dance on Marley and stuff and we have an audience to connect to but we at during filming we only had a camera and so we really had to try to connect and like get into the dance and use our emotion because we didn't have anybody to like perform to you know and it was different because we had to stare at the camera and like the camera would be in different angles so we'd, we'd have to have the camera as our audience as our front so i think yeah it was pretty different i learned that it's like really important where the focus is because if not it looks really weird if you're like not looking at the camera like because they're like what are they looking at like is there something over there but um <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part was matching the movements with the flowers that made sense with our own stories because you can't just I can't just make it all about you know my story I have to have everyone else's story in it we kind of got stuck a little bit in the beginning of the year I guess because I in the beginning of the video I aimed it towards one corner and then I kept doing that and I don't know I just I didn't like it so then we restarted the whole dance I like it way better now Mm -hmm. I mean, coming from Seattle, I um, want to move to L.A. because, like, our friends, I guess Casey Askew, mm -hmm. I, like, grew up with him during competitions and stuff, and, like, seeing him on So You Think You Can Dance and doing his thing in, like, L.A. and California, and, I guess, teaching at JPD. Also, Amy Shulky comes to our studio mm -hmm. to teach, so we get a lot of, like, cool people to come in from L.A. that are around us all the time and it's just like we just want to do what they want to do because it just looks so much fun. Mm -hmm.